This Karen is called out after her horrific homophobic rant is caught on camera. Watch this. Hey, what is, is not wrong okay. with you? That is not okay. No, is lesbianism okay? It is. Yeah. No, it isn't. Why isn't it? Because you touch children. You rape children. I do oh. not touch children. Yes, because you're all oh. evil. Oh. You're evil. God doesn't want you to talk that way to people. Do you go to church? Oh, I'll record you God, all day. So do you go to Oh, sweetheart. You don't have for Hmm? Do you know who I work for? Do you know who I am? No, nobody knows who you are. Okay. Okay, great. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself talking to people this way. No, sweetheart. Yes, sweetheart. I'm actually very proud. Are you the manager? Yes, I'm the manager. Oh, okay. I'm going to need your name. I'm going to need your name. My name is right there. Where is it? No, let me have it. We're so sorry. No, it's not you. This altercation happened in what looks like a Starbucks in Miami, Florida of all places, where this older woman decided to harass this young lesbian couple. And of course, for the majority of us, seeing LGBT people mundanely living their lives is nothing out of the ordinary. But that is not the case for this hateful woman, who decided to accuse the victims of abusing children simply by virtue of being LGBT. And this accusation may seemingly come out of nowhere, but the continuing legacy of anti-LGBT rhetoric is defined by the homophobic programming of Fox News and their alt-right peers. In all honesty, it's 2023. You know, to be homophobic is a very uncute thing. And frankly, maintaining a prejudice in such an interconnected world, such an exposed world, almost feels like a chore. Regardless, the folks at Fox News seem to manage constantly fabricating false allegations and conspiracy theory, presupposing ridiculous claims about the LGBT community to isolate them from public favor. But the fact is that these homophobic sentiments are not based in any truth and are not popular. I mean, just look at the prior video. Both the patrons and the workers who witnessed the altercation seem to agree, recoiling in disgust at the older woman's comments, ultimately exposing just how out of touch the homophobic agenda of the alt-right really is. The danger of this programming, however, is that it emboldens extremists to hatefully confront LGBT people in public, ultimately discouraging queer folks from outing themselves and potentially even threatening their livelihoods if they choose to live as their true and essential selves. And ultimately, this is brainwashing on the part of the Republicans who will retort and say that we are brainwashing kids. But that is not the case. Just watch this next clip by a student of a school teacher in the throes of another hateful homophobic rant. Watch this. A lot of them are burning the girls, are burning the women. The Philippines just had a miss. I think the Philippines just had a miss. I'm serious. The Philippines just had a miss America. There was a man. Oh, huh? I did. Oh, lady boy. That's it. No. What? No, lady boy. No, don't say that. That is completely disrespectful. No, it's not. That's what the show over there. No. The student recording the hysterical outpouring recounts that the teacher continued to spew talking points directly from Republican pundits addressing trans people as ladyboys and forcing his class to watch Fox News. And this example is just one of the countless ways that Fox News and the larger Republican Party promote fear and prejudice. Ultimately, we need to call out Republicans for their hateful rhetoric to ensure an optimistic future for LGBT youth in America today. Did you like this video? Then you'll love this next one where this MAGA grandma gets caught in a feud between Steve Bannon and Tucker Carlson. Click on that video on screen here and make sure to also check out my playlist below for a running list of my content. This is Andrew Goes of The Breakdown. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and check back for more videos. See you guys soon.